Hey, what is good, my friends? It is I, Trash, back with some more Rogue Company. I hope you guys are enjoying your week so far. I know I said my stream would start back up, but I'm just so damn busy right now, amigos. I know, I know you guys can forgive me. I am grinding. It's for the greater good. My streams are going to resume very soon. I have friends visiting from the East Coast all week long, you know, for the holidays. So I'm going to try and get a stream or two in this week and then pick it fully up, you know, next week. But expect a stream from me probably tomorrow, tomorrow or Friday. Um, but the YouTube videos will be consistent. And to make up for it, guys, I got two giveaways to announce. We're going to do two of the Deal With It Corgi avatars. And if you guys haven't seen that, check it out in the shop. It's absolutely incredible. And now two of you guys can win it for free. So we're going to do one on this video. And we're also going to do one on my Creep Cat, my ghost channel video, which I just uploaded a video as well just 10 minutes ago. Um, so all you have to do is leave a like and comment on this video to enter one and then to enter both to increase your chances Go ahead and leave a like and a comment on my video linked in the comments below. It's actually terrifying too. So watch with caution um, But for the video in particular, we are going to be going over five advanced tips for Rogue Company um, Whenever I do these types of videos for other games it explodes You know it gets a lot of views and then people ask why don't you do this for Rogue? So I wanted to make, you know, advanced tips for you guys, you know, just some shit that I've learned from playing this game for a year now and playing it, um, you know, I think at, at the highest level attainable. So first things first, guys, and again, these I, I like to think these are advanced tips, you know, these are really going to be helpful for you. Number one, we have swap shoulders mid roll. So in this game, there's so many more movements than most. You can jump, you can crouch, you can crouch spam, you can swap shoulders, you know, there's a lot at your disposal, so make sure you use it. It certainly makes you a harder target. Um, so you can see every time I roll, I'm, near, I'm literally swapping shoulders damn near every single roll if I need to. It's just, especially as Lancer, it just it's two motions in one. You know, or if you're in a gunfight, you know, as long as you have replenish or your Lancer, you don't need to reload. You know, when you're rolling around, it makes you hard to hit. And then while you're rolling, you can swap shoulders. So it's like instead of just swapping shoulders, you're doing a roll and a swap. And once you get that muscle memory down, it's it's going to be like second nature and it's just so much easier. You know, you're harder to hit. You're coming out with the right angle because you swap shoulders mid-roll. And the more you practice, I promise you'll, you'll notice a difference. Number two, we have prioritized perks, not utilities. So a lot of times, you know, unless you're playing ranked, you know, we're obviously ranked. You just want to get smokes and stuns and that meta is a joke, to be honest. But that's, you know, that's kind of the name of the game. But for the most part in Rogue Company... You know, when you're when you're using the shop and you're buying upgrades, you want to prioritize your perks and then get your utilities later. You know, for example, you want to get life drain, you want to get replenish, um, you want to get you know all these all these perks that make you more deadly. Because the more deadly you are, the more kills you get. The more kills you get, the more money you're earning, and you'll end up being able to get all your utilities anyway, while being you know maxed out on your perks. So make sure you guys try that. A lot of people will. You know, they'll, they'll level up and right away they'll start buying C4 or flash grenades or Semtexes and it's expensive. So again, please prioritize perks over utilities. Number three, we have master weapons instead of rogues. So by this, you know, I know weapon mastery is coming out soon and that's just a coincidence. Um, but really I just mean, you know, focus on the weapons. Focus on getting the hip fire down, focus on the recoil. Figure out the sweet spots, you know, when you should challenge an assault rifle versus when you should, how far you need to be from a shotgun to win each fight. You know, focus on these weapons and then focus on the rogue's kit later. You don't want to just force yourself into a rogue because you like their kit. Um, with weapon mastery coming up, this changes us a bit, but get really good at a gun. Get really good at, you know, Phantom Sniper. Or get really good at the SLC, you know, that SMG, or get really good at the MXR. Just get really good at a gun because once you master the weapon, you're way more you know valuable to your team and as a player because now you can play that weapon on any rogue especially with the new update coming out um, or if you know even before the update you know if you get really good at the d40 then now you can play chalk and secret regardless of their kit you know you're still going to be reliable so that's something i would say prioritize you know weapon mastery over rogue mastery you know get really good at certain guns and then you know being good at every rogue will follow Tip number four. So I've been doing this for a while, and I'm not sure if they just recently buffed it and made it better. Um, I think I remember reading about that, but pretty much jumping and hip firing at the same time is so underrated in this game. It makes you harder to hit because you're in the air, and hip fire is it's it's easy, especially if you're jumping and you can control the hip fire recoil. 
you know, in the air, it's it's really easy to control still. Um, you're just a much harder target to hit. So especially if you know they're holding a corner, you know, or if, or if you're holding a corner and they're running at you, just jump, hip fire. As you're jumping too, your your bullet spray will rise and you'll end up hitting them in the face and neck area and you'll just end up lasering them and they'll die pretty quick. But jump in and hip fire, guys. Pair that together. Start getting good at it. It will take time. You know, definitely get in the shooting range and try these things that I'm telling you guys. But... It's the little things, you know, make yourself a harder target, especially in a game like this where there's so many movement mechanics that, you know, every little advantage is going to be crucial, you know. So jumping and hip firing, swapping shoulders mid-roll, start doing these things and you'll, you'll, your game will increase tremendously. And our final tip, this is more for demolition and ranked exclusively, but it's going to be play the game like chess. So... Trash, what the fuck does that mean? Play the game like chess. What are you talking about? Are you high? Yes, but that's irrelevant. So what I mean by this is if last round, you know, you guys did something and it worked, then keep that in mind. They're gonna, they might send an extra guy there, you know, or if, if you're playing defense and a team tries something round one and it worked, then round two and three, they try something else that doesn't work, you know where they're going round four. So you can, you can use, you know, pass round knowledge to your, to your advantage. You know, especially if you're really paying attention, you know, think, where do my enemies think I'm coming from? Especially as a Lancer and ranked, you can get so far into your opponent's head. You know, especially if you flank from a certain angle the first round and it works, then you know for the next several rounds they're going to have someone watching that angle. So you don't even have to go there, but still you're technically there since they have to, you know, have a whole player sit back and watch. So then you can go with your team on site, get in a 4v3. And you're chilling. But I wanted to keep this short. I don't like, you know, just rambling on. Those are five tips. You know, make sure you rewatch the video if, if you need to, but make sure you guys start applying these. Um, and there's no way that you won't get better. But I'm out. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to the Dodgers game later, so that should be sick. Peace. million times better. I haven't agreed with something Rogue has been done since I've been with the map Vice. That's just the cold truth. Oh my goodness! It sucks when your team's not even on site. Like, if these assholes were just there... I don't even care if they get kills, but if they have at least played objective, I could, like, work off this. Oh, we have it now. Whoa, frames! I will literally never play again. What is wrong with people? What's happening to my frames? Don't do me like this. Am I hearing things? What the fucking madhouse is going on back here, dude? There's more? Hey, Daft the Decar, thanks for the follow, man. I need to play Vibe today, I need to play a Dahlia game. I need some mag content. Why is my pistol up? What the fuck, dude? I'm tripping. work for damn it <laughs> am I like have the invisible cloak on so easy. Actually, the 6v6 is just, that's just how it is. What up, JG? It's going pretty good, man. I'm excited to watch Devontae Smith on the Eagles tonight. I'm an Eagles fan. It's just preseason, obviously, which blows, but at least it's football. And it, the starters are supposed to play a little bit. So, so I'm chilling. Did some work today. Got some YouTube done. Streaming with the gang.
hope you had a good day too, Brazilian. Whoa! That's ranch dressing. Damn, Carlo Rodriguez. Right? They just keep buffing her. What's up, skinhead? Skinhead. <laughs> just saying that, I'm like. <laughs> How do you even get up there in a game like this? Hydra, what have you been playing in your off time? Since you're done with Rogue, just curious. Because I'm always playing other games. I probably don't play Rogue as much as people think. I do love this game, obviously. I'm playing it a year later. But I think it's healthy to like mix up games. Whoa! Do you ever play Dallas? Not really. I could get a Dallas game today. I'm taking suggestions. Whoever you guys want me to play today, let me know. I kind of want to lose this. You been playing Hades? That game's fun. I played Saint like the first three days of this game and then I unlocked Lancer like a year ago and she's been my main, but I play everybody. I play Lancer my first game on every day though. It's the best warm up character. Damn it, dude. Oh, they're gonna take this round. That means we can drop 90 for the good for the good days. Wait, do I lose or end the party? Nice. Technically, that's what we like. Switching sides. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Control the hell to gain points. Chalker Kestrel. Yes, sir. League and Splitgate, nice. I've been playing Splitgate too. So finally finished my rank placements. I played my Overwatch placements for the first time since the top 500 days, dude. Yeah, everything about King Hill is better than Deathmatch. I'm really disappointed in the decision. Oh my god, dude, he was a bullet. I went, uh, oh, I thought that was the enemy. I was like, what is this spawn? I placed like diamond three or two, I think. Does that sound right? Still moving in 30 seconds. Oh my fucking god, that was really bad. What's up, KT Films? My team's not even getting close to sight, bro. They're just taking no space off. Or no attention away from me, I should say. Yeah, diamond two. I think I went either four and one or three and two. Is it just based on win loss? You know, is it like stats? We have to kill seven for us to take the site, dude. It's fucked up. We're getting warmed up though. I was gonna keep going too. So. How big are you, bro? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like my height and weight? <laughs> oh! On the way. On the way. I don't know that song, guys. 
500 pounds pure thigh muscle, baby. <laughs> That's a lot of beef. 500 pounds pure beef thighs? You could kick down a tree. Wait, you are not getting away with that sliver of health. Behind you! Just turn and shoot once. This is blast for me, Roger. Typical scoreboard. 28 placement games? Wait, what has. Wait, where do you have to do that? Is that some like Valorant shit or something? Holy shit, that was fun. Are we gonna win this? Oh, we have hell. Everyone take the hill, bloody hell. Bloody hell, bloody hell. Take the bloody hell for bloody hell's sake. Alright, I'm done. I was trying to I'm trying to get better at that. Last hell. Make it count. Hill Come control. to Papa. Whoa! How did you guys both get there, dude? Make sure you're driving safe, you nutcase. Oh shit. Oh, he got stuck. Enemy spot. Oh fuck, I did it way too fast. Oh, nice. Motherfuckers are not taking my sight. Shit, bro. Lancer still has a field of view bug? 